The fine people over at Hori recently sent me this Nintendo Switch Pro-like controller and today I want to talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and just overall my general thoughts. So let's jump in. First off, these grips on the side, they're not very grippy. It says on the box that it has like amazing grip, but you know, these kind of just feel just like the rest of the plastic on the controller. Just overall, they're not very grippy in any sense. So I thought that was a little odd. And the thing that I personally don't like is the weight of the controller. Now, when it comes to like the Xbox One controller and the Switch Pro controller, they're nice and heavy, but this controller, it's really, really light. And for the size, like how big it is, kind of just feels like it's hollow on the inside. The weight of the controller actually makes it less comfortable in my opinion. But honestly, that's just preference. Maybe you like really light controllers, but as for me, I'm just not a fan of them. So that's a gripe from my standpoint, but maybe that's a good thing for you. However, one thing I actually love about this controller is the D-pad. It's nice and clicky nice and big actually slightly bigger than the switch pro controller d-pad which is probably the only thing i don't like about this controller is the d-pad but as for this one it's really big and really clicky and i like the placement of it whenever you're playing like side scrollers with it it's really nice now on the box it says the battery can last up to 15 hours which from what i've tested it hasn't died on me at all because i keep recharging it i didn't really get to see how long the battery lasts but it never even seemed like it was close to dying when i was using it i probably used it a little over five hours without charging it and it said the battery was still like halfway full so the 10 to 15 hour battery life is probably about right now one thing a lot of switch third-party controllers don't include is gyro functionality and that's where this controller is a perk you actually get gyro functionality and it actually works really nice especially in comparison to the switch pro controller as i'm sure you know the switch joy con controller actually has better functionality than the switch pro controller and this one actually feels more in line with the joy con controllers which is really nice and just a nice bonus for a controller it's especially since they're charging $50 for this controller. And I'll get to that in a second, but yeah, the gyro functionality is a nice addition. Now, one thing that I think is a problem and that a lot of you guys might not like is that this controller doesn't come with the charger. Now, this is one thing a lot of companies aren't doing lately. They're not including controller wires or like charges for like the 3DS. That's what Nintendo did. And I just think it's really odd because you're already asking for a hefty price of $50 for this pro controller and it doesn't even come with a, a charger, which I mean, I just think it's a little weird for a company to do that, but I don't know. A lot of people do have these types of chargers just laying around. It's just the normal Android charger that a lot of people probably have, like a handful of them. But you know, maybe you don't, and then you have to go out and buy a wire along with the $50 controller, and that's just not really cool in my opinion. But be sure to let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now, like I was saying, this controller came out on December 17th, so it just came out like last week. I actually didn't know that whenever they sent it to me. They, they probably got to my house around like the time it launched, like maybe the day of, and I, I would have released this video a bit earlier, but I've been working on like the chat boxes series so be sure to check that out if you're interested it's like a funny comedy series but anyway yeah sorry this video is a little late i'm hoping maybe a lot of people haven't already picked it up and then been like steered the wrong way i, I don't think it's a bad controller necessarily but just the fact that it's 50 dollars, it's really really light which i don't like it doesn't come with a charger uh, like wire and just overall the form factor isn't super comfortable i don't really know if it'd be worth it for a lot of people I personally, I got used to the form factor. Like I will say, they're pretty much mimicking the Xbox form factor, but these grips, they go out a bit further. Like they're, they're shooting out the sides more, which like forces you to hold the controller with your arms out a bit more instead of being more like comfortable like this. And I just think that's a little bit odd. I feel like the controller just should be shaped a little more like downward and not outward. But yeah, it's not so bad. I personally like this shape of the controller. Like this is probably my, my number one form factor for a controller. I love it. But uh, this controller is nothing like this controller. It's more in line with the Xbox controller. So if you play a lot of Xbox and you have a Nintendo Switch, then this is probably the controller to get. It feels really similar to the Xbox controller, just a little less comfortable in my opinion. As for the buttons though, the buttons are probably a high point for the controller. They all feel really nice, especially these triggers in the back. They press down pretty far, which as I'm sure you know, the Switch doesn't have any pressure sensitive triggers. So it wasn't really necessary for them to do this, but I'm guessing they just did it for comfortability's sake. And just the fact that a lot of people are familiar with having buttons like this from the PS4 and Xbox One. But uh, yeah, the buttons feel really nice. The sticks feel really nice. I haven't had any issues with the controller. I just think it's a bit lame of them to have a $50 controller and then not come with a wire and just it's just really light and feels a bit cheap I don't, I don't think i could like snap it in half or anything but it's not like launch ps3 controller quality bad but it's just a little light and feels a little cheap in my opinion but if you're in the market for an xbox like switch controller it's probably worth it so i'm not saying this is a bad controller just not necessarily exactly what i want out of a switch controller but be sure to let me know do you like this controller have you been playing it on your switch it just came out last week so if you've happened to pick it up be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments section below and i've been doing a lot of controller reviews lately so if you want to see more controller reviews be sure to check them out in my video list but thanks a lot for watching guys i will talk to you later